So why Jacktrip? Why do we use Jacktrip and not any of the other programs available out there? Well, you might have already figured out that Skype and Zoom and Google Hangouts is not really working for this, simply because it's not aimed specifically at music, right? It targets you know, group conversations and, and speech intelligibility. So um, it's okay with it taking a little more time because it collects actually all the information when you speak, even if your internet connection is wacky, and then outputs it in kind of a smooth and, and sound way out to everyone else. Um, while the more music-focused programs um, are aimed at, number one, low latency, right? You want the lowest latency, which is a fancy word for the delay from one end to the other. You want a low latency to have it happen in real time. Also, what sets Jacktrip apart from all the other programs is you want high quality. And Jacktrip is uncompressed. It delivers uncompressed audio to the other side. And in fact, sometimes compression actually needs time because you know there's a certain algorithm that runs over the recorded signal and just afterwards you know send it out to other people so um other programs you know there's jamulus there's sound jack um some of which use compression to send it off and not only does it take more time but also it's compressed it's not as high quality and if we already you know put in the effort to set all of this up then we we better have um high quality and uncompressed audio too number three is Jacktrip allows you to flexibly route the audio. So you could, I could take my microphone and route it to you know, somebody else's server. I could route it to my own headphones. So it really gives me that flexibility that I'm so used to by now that I don't want to give up on that at all. Jacktrip has a great community. Jacktrip, um, and I've worked with them for the last four months, the um, Internet Ensemble Tech Force at Stanford University, but also just, you know, it's, in a very act it's actively developed. So um, there are software engineers and people just constantly think about how to, you know, how to put it out there, how to make it bigger. Um, and there is one downside, even though this community is so great, which is Jacktrip yet does not have a GUI, a graphical user interface. Um, you might want sliders and nice boxes to type stuff into. Jacktrip so far is running in the terminal. Now, if you're a software engineer, you've probably come across, you know, the terminal already, but I want to take away the fear from it because it's essentially just a tool to execute commands and programs. And that's what we will use to run Jacktrip. There is no cool graphical user interface, but once you set it up, it's simple and it works. So bear with me here and, and I'll make it as easy for you as possible. Um, Jacktrip was authored by my professor Chris Chafe and Juan Pablo Caceres and it is aimed at all these things and it's open source. Um, open source simply means it's free and you know it's been developed in this academic environment so it really has this active community I told you about and it's just aimed at making stuff better for free and it's a great mindset of, of using open source software. So another plus for Jacktrip. See you in the next video.